welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers and subscribers at the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strike saves lives and prevents the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives on this channel. We at this channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want hey, them. You know as Jamaica oh, here, we me. do not want hey, something to sometimes you want if it's, if it's a move or if it's real or comments. Because Please I cannot believe go that elsewhere. these things really happen in Jamaica. waiting for you. Yes. Over here, we you know, we're talking to about Philip Paul well, sleeping on the departure the lunch. But not only the enemy, but magic. trust me, this I want to wicked this enemy. Yeah, so you're looking at your, your LCD right now, and you can see that that woman, she named Leoda Bradshaw, yes. You know, she worked for the Navy, she's an intelligence specialist. Not going to go any further in that. And Leoda, Leoda Bradshaw, she's an intelligence specialist, and she worked with the United States Navy, which is a part of the Department of Defense. And this woman, trust me, <laughs> may I tell you, Leoda Bradshaw, she hired it man to kill the mother of her daughter, sister. Then she hired another it man to kill the first it man. Seriously. What may I tell you? Say, hey, when I've been listening to one and two little things, I had the two hostel laugh because of the it man, the, the first it man, the statement that he had given to the police. Never see a criminal in my entire life, a killer. Is the police him around to save him life and him just kill two people you know, and then him at the, the same killer, you know. He's telling the detective, oh, Leo the wicked, you know, and he's the one that killed the, the, the baby, you know, and the woman, and the woman, you know, and the child's mother, you know. And he's saying that Leo the Bradshaw is wicked because she hired a man to kill him. <laughs> Me never seen nothing like this yet. Him, he killed two people, you know, and then the woman hired a man to kill him. Negus. And <laughs> boy, may I tell you, but, hey, may I tell you this man, so well, <laughs> may I tell you, say, hey, this, this, I, I never see anything like this. You understand? So he thought that he was, you know, everything good, and and he met Leo, you know, through Philip Powell and Angela Brown Burt, them. You understand? Leo met, you know, and I saw him know the gunman, them. We kill, we kill, um, Philip Powell, baby. And the baby mother, I tell you, say that woman, you want to kill woman, you know, man. Believe you, me, you, know. you would never see anything like this before in the history of Jamaica. This woman create history. She had the first woman to make a hit man want to be a part of the the witness protection program. A killer, you know, show him say one. He want to be in a witness protection program because he knew, you know, he knew the woman's background. You understand? So him not take no check, you know. So you saw them stay. Them love kill people, you know, but them no one dead, you know. You understand? But that, hey, trust him, man. Same heart come my mouth. <laughs> the killer same heart come my mouth. Him, him can't believe him nearly dead. Him just kill two people, you know. You understand? Him kill a baby and a woman. And him say, him heart, why? Him couldn't believe him nearly dead. So the woman had tried to kill him. <laughs> and oh, hey. Him say, boy, a good thing him have, him never have one of the tight jeans because the boy that get fit, Negro said, I kill him. So, <laughs> well, you know, moving on. So, whether or not you want to believe it, Jamaica is not an ordinary place at all. Jamaica is, is the only place where a contract specialist, shatter, fulfill his contract by, you know, killing, killing, um, killing out, killing his victims, you know, dust them out. And then he, the contract killer, has to run for his life as another contract killer was hired to kill him. <laughs> hey, and, uh, no, this is not a joke, you know. I saw the case, boss, you know. Me I tell you, so the lad, I'm uh, working mysterious way, you know, so. So, you know, hey, this is a woman up here, you know, man. She get the woman, she said, hey, I just want to tell you how it go on them things, but boy, I'm the contract killer. Boy, him, you know, man, him, hey, I 
At first, I see a man, a killer, you know, man. For quick, you know, man, for, for, for rule, you know. I say, oh, you think you're going to kill me and get away with the murder them? I go, oh, you want to go to prison because you're not going to kill me and them things. And God make me. Hey, you so hear the thing they want them something. When I preempt the police investigation, some people ask why they are not arrested and charged as yet. But we're just giving you an update, you understand? As I tell you already, so, you know, see. So, as we stated before, say, Leona Bradshaw, yeah, that's uh, Philip Powell, first baby mother. Because you know him, have, he did marry before, so you can't talk about the, the wife, daughter. So, the first baby mother, yeah, that's uh, Leona Bradshaw, the Navy intelligence specialist. So she you now hired she hired Negus to kill the baby mother and the baby. And then she hired next man now to kill back Negus. And boy the man beat some kind of a Negus and Negus get away and Negus oh straight to the police Negus go. Cause him had come my mouth. You understand? Yeah man, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, I better tell you, Leo the Bradshaw man, she Leo the Bradshaw hired a hit man to kill the first hit man. Then the hit man ran to the police to save his life. A murderer, you know. Him a murderer, you know. Hit man, you know. And him said, oh, him not take no check with her, you know. Him run to the police and him just spill the bean, you know. So I saw the police, them find the body. You understand? Uh, investigation, yes, but... Because she double cross the, the, the killer. But, if, but but eventually they would have get uh, they would get her you know, because the vehicle it was Philip Palwell vehicle that she sent to pick her pick up the baby mother and the baby wicked man you understand and poor Philip not even didn't know all of them things. Yeah. I'm naive so that's why them can't body him up and take away president um the the presidency of the PMP um LGBTQ plus criminal organization that Philip him, him, himself himself yeah him, I want soft brother you understand you can't be prime minister of Jamaica you have a rough yeah, man, you can't be no soft. That's why Mark Golden behave like him, a bad man. You understand? So, Mark Golden is like a punk from uptown. He's you not know, a bad man. No. And we don't like bad man. Bad man a parasite. We like sending bad man out of the party along. Speed run. I just saw it go. Yeah, man, so. So, moving on now. So, as we said, you know, so Leo the Bradshaw, she hired a hitman to kill the first hitman. And then the hitman. Because him escape on earth, him ran to the police to save his life and him just give a statement. Him willing to become a witness and to be on the witness protection program to protect his life. Because he's no one for dead enough. But him kill the seat, him kill a baby and the baby mother. And we soon tell her how him do it and him thing. So, it is a good thing that he, you know, this is how him tell the police, it's a good thing that he did not wear tight, tight jeans. You know, that I want a woman, um... He did not wear one of the women's jeans. That's how I'm telling the detective. Or else his ass would have been cooked. I mean, say, I'm not dead because I'm going to get gunshot. He said, I, hear him say, um, I have never seen her in, I have never seen her investigate a case where the killer became the witness and wants to be in the witness protection program. That never happened to me as a detective. So the contract killer wants to be in the witness protection program to protect his life, to save his life from being taken by another killer. So some people ask, what kind of person hired an hitman to kill a mother and her baby? Then hire another hitman to kill the first hitman. Yeah man, the only person to do that man is Leoda Bradshaw. Yeah man, Leoda Bradshaw hired a hitman to kill the first hitman. The hitman ran to the police to save his life, whether or not you want to believe it. This is happening in the criminal's paradise of Jamaica where a contract killer became a victim of his life victim of his life. The man ran for his life when the other hit man that he knew from Warica Hills healed him as soon as the killer passed him. The first hit man it was nothing but and the hitman the eight man says, boy, his heart come to his mouth because he knew that his life was about to end to madden's departure lungs. So him say, no, say, I kill him, I kill him. And him say, him start run. And this is what him say, you know, do God. Do God. No make them kill. No make niggas kill me. No make niggas kill me. Please, God, please. 
me I beg you God. Me I go tell the police them everything. Look how me kill look how me kill the woman on the pit for this girl. And now she pay an ego to kill me. Do God. And he was able to get away because of his legs. And he went straight to the police and started to spill the beans on the other Bradshaw. So he not take no check in him. I go call her and say, Boy, I can't think that they said man to come kill me. So I saw him spill the bean and then now the man now. That's why you don't see the formal charge now. So he so him now on a report a case of shooting within ten for shoot half a minute. The hitman in a murder right now. You understand? So hey. So the hitman in a he might witness in a two case in a he might witness he's a witness. He might witness and an accuse. So he's the one who killed the mother and the baby and he might witness against the holder. Bradshaw and he might witness against the Second it man. So I him had the key to everything, you know. Because <laughs> hey, the man the man same hard come my mouth. Him never him him say him no say I kill no say I lose him all for both lose him life. You understand? I why I don't know that he man say him hard come my mouth because he threw now a gun upon him for fire back and him say a good thing him can't run. You understand? Him get some bruise and them thing there you know, and I have to jump some fence, you know. Man say, a big gun shot you know. Boom, boom, Bam 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 bam. I'm saying that's a year the gunshot them a whistle past him, you know. I must say, do God, do. No make him kill me, lad. Jesus. Now go tell the police them everything. Look how the girl are wicked. He's saying that, you know, that's how I might tell the police them, you know. But yet still he's not him not see himself as being wicked enough you know, to kill the man, baby mother, and the daughter. When all along Philip Powell is there sleeping with the enemy in him apartment not knowing. But I mean, I tell you, you're saying that you're ignorant to things and you don't have a clue. I saw it doing it. You understand? So, so on the day in question, when the, the plan was executed, because it was already, you know, it was something that was planned out. And when the, when the plan was executed, Leo the Bradshaw knew Philip Palwell's usual daily activities on a weekend. And she made arrangements with the killer, whom she had met through Philip Palwell and other members of the PMP LGBTQ. Plus, Criminal organization. So, I'm tell you, say, PMP is a criminal organization. You know? That's what Negos them meet. She, you understand? So, the men came to Philip Powell's apartment complex after he went outside jogging and she handed over the vehicle key to the killers and told them to return as soon as possible. She texted the woman that had a baby mother number two from P Philip Powell's one of his cell phone and told her. He was coming for her, which wasn't him. It was her, the killer, that Aliora, pretending to be Philip Powell, and you know, the, and the killer them drive. You know, they, they they went to her place of abode, pick her up, and the baby, and then took her to a secluded area in Warwicka Hill, where they tied the victims and and feet, put a towel over the gun barrel that had the, the front the, the mouth of the gun and fire several shots into the body of the baby mother and then two shots into the child's head, killing them on the spot and then set the body, bodies ablaze. The eight man having survived with his life went to the police and reported the matter and his role and then he took the police where the bodies were. The, the kind of person who hired a eight man to kill her mother and the baby and then hired another eight man to kill the first hitman is exceptionally ruthless, dangerous, and calculating. Let me repeat that. The only person that would do such thing is somebody who is exceptionally ruthless, dangerous, and calculating. They are willing to do whatever it takes to achieve their goals, even killing innocent people. They are also conscientious and paranoid, hiring another hitman to kill the first hitman to cover her tracks. There are several possible reasons why Leody Bradshaw committing such a heinous crime. And one of the possibilities is that the person was motivated by revenge. And she have the she take out the revenge on the wrong person, the baby and the baby mother. You understand? She lives in America, she's a Navy intelligence. What she expects? She have man of foreign too. And she'll be like she don't have a man of foreign. That's that the man in a squeal out and I said, boy, him never did know so she is there with, there with Philip. You soon hear about that and them thing. You understand? So, she a fear man a foreign, him a female man a foreign. Him take a bunting girl and him get her fat up. You understand? 
So she you know I go on like she a, yeah, me, a, me squeaky clean and them things. And she a fear man of her. So what me Philip all with that female man of her down at Jamaica and get a woman. Nothing not wrong with that. And then I say, boy, you know, the woman where him have hey look, it's a consensual relationship. So you know matter if Philip Paul could have been three hundred and the woman at, at nineteen. She passed the age of consent, a fear her body and a who she love. Whether I don't care if no one say her money or power or who him love. But if then he was not going to marry to her. You understand? So that's why some people are saying now, uh, but I based on everything was the, you know, everything was planned and it was executed from his apartment, his at his apartment without his knowledge. Some people are saying, boy, maybe him have an night. We don't know, because we're not the investigators and such information hasn't reached the Jamaica Young Police Channel as yet. So we just work in what we have. You understand? So so you know, so perhaps the mother and and her baby had wrong wrong her in some way, and she wanted to get her revenge. But the only way the mother could have wrong her and them thing is just because she knows about Philip Parallel, you know, put him tealy in a fear, her, in a nigga eye, and that's how she get the baby. The baby innocent. Why why you tell them to kill the baby? You shouldn't do that, man. That that's evil. You understand? It mash up a whole lot of people. You know, All right now. Philip Parler came and think about him want to be president of the PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organ because they mash up him head. And this come from a woman her name um I'm not even remember what, Dean Swell's name or something like that. That our woman from the PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization that sent this woman the email and then she run come down and behave like she a wife. Now if you have even a wife, you know, relax yourself because you understand, a your daughter sister, you got you feel say you're going to you, you feel oh because of Jamaica you know say boy it's easy to get to it. Jamaica the, you know the chances of getting caught for murder is slim to none. So you as somebody who's in the military in the intelligence arena, and you know already the solemn oath that you take when you're in the intelligence arena, you understand? And you betray your own oath, your country and yourself. You understand? Because she cannot use a Jamaican passport, you know. Else you be in a trouble. You, she can't. Be a son. One and two look at things with her. So when she got Jamaica, she can't travel with it. She can't renew no Jamaican passport or anything like that. Because just so it go. Once you work for Uncle Sam, and you have a security clearance. You understand that? You know, it all depends on the level of clearance. So she cannot do that. So she have a trouble in an American passport. But why may I tell you, she, she wicked. You understand? So the only the only the only um, possibility that you know is that um Leona Bradshaw was motivated by greed because she's looking at now say yeah you know she are looking at because I saw it go on them things because people have life spanning you know. she are looking at say boy Philip yeah Philip uh, um you know close to sixty and she are giving about twenty had more years maybe not even so so much so she are calculated boy her baby daughter now, I forgot to share whatever Philip have because I'm rich, you know. You understand? Now? She know you know that. She don't want her daughter to share nothing. That is selfishness and just evil. Plain evil. So you know, all of these people are on this um, um, LCD that you're looking at, the, thumb, um, the thumbnail, all of them have a hand for doing it because they're East Kingston. You understand? And then worse, them kill, them, kill the people, them, them, them daughter, and the woman in his constituency. Oh, something like that for happening in Warwick Island, him don't know about it. That is what most people are asking. I cannot answer that question. Uncle Philip Paul alone can answer it. And we don't know if the police had spoken to him in regards to the matter. You understand? So everything, greed and money all is behind him. So it's also possible that Lehoda was simply sadistic and enjoy killing. Maybe not the first time she are killing her, they are killing for her. So whatever the motive, it is clear that Lehoda, who committed the, this crime, is scary. She has no regard for human life and are willing to do whatever it takes to achieve her goal. If you know someone capable of committing such crime, you must report them to the police. Yeah, but if you will report them to the police, you have to have evidence because you know, years in a court, they understand. So I tell you, you know, so some people might say, boy, you know, say our response has yet to mention or reveal any 
you know, safety guidelines how you can protect yourself from somebody like Leodia. Um, Bradshaw, but look, you have to understand that the woman, the woman, the baby mother and the baby were lured, lured by her pretending to be Philip Paulin. And then just kill the baby. And the mother, I just said, I just evil, she evil. Some people, they might say, boy, say, you know, our answer is harmful, unethical, sexist, toxic, dangerous. Uh, you know, some people might say it even don't write illegal because we are said that she's evil. You understand? So we know, based on common sense, ethical and moral standards, is not controversial or objectionable. You understand? So my response does not promote violence, hatred, or discrimination. My response is not sexually suggestive. I have not sought private information about individuals, and my answer is creative. So everything that I give you is creative. You understand? So here, here is all we get with this case. Philip Palwell confirmed his daughter and child's mother, mom, are missing. So this was September 9, you know. Member of Parliament for East Kingston and Port Royal, Philip Palwell, has confirmed report that his 10-month-old child and her mother have been missing since Saturday morning. Mr. Palwell says he is gravely worried over their disappearance and he is appealing for their safe return. Remember that it was this week, you know, the same time we did a story about the Honorable Philip Palwell being blackmailed by people who were who were tied to the PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization. You understand? Allegedly Peter Bunting and Mark Golden because of his refusal to campaign with them. Because he was robbed of the leadership seat by Bunting and Golden. Yeah, so Paul you know, so Paul will resist them. Because them rob Philip Paul at the presidency you know, of the PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization. So he decides he's not going to campaign with them. So so all of these things that's coming in here, but look what, the enemy within. So this woman, you know, Leora Bradshaw, is people within the PMP party, you know, gave her all of these information and rile her up. And she now think because, you know, she must be crazy. She not thinking all she had think about, say, because cause women know how some men are, you know, because more or less, you know, she and Philip, at, she and him argue over it, and him say, oh, why? If my daughter may treat her good and them things, you understand, I go ill treat her and cast her aside and I so, you know, because more or less, you know, she has pressure him enough to say, boy, if you deny her female child and him say, no, I do that. You understand? Because if you notice, you know, she is the one who release all of the information about DNA and this and that. Yeah, I behave like she a wife and she not and it, she have an eight year old child for him and she, and he did not marry to her. Reason being why him cannot why why she cannot she could not and can't marry to Philip Paulin. You cannot work for the federal government and in a relationship with somebody who's a government official in another country. Unless you are spying. Unless that person, like Philip Paulin, would be a useful, unwittingly a useful agent for the United States of America by her in a relationship with him and married to her. You understand? So you don't know that enough to come from up the top. So he would have supplied all the information when the government, uh, if he party be in a power or, you know, although he's in the opposition, can still supply them with intelligence, what the Jamaican government is all about. Because just by that alone, you're, disqual you're disqualified for a secret clearance. You can't have no secret clearance. You can't have no, out you can't have no ties to no other government. And all them things because you denounce all loyalty and your loyalty only exists. And your loyalty is to the United States of America. So she him could not marry to her. If he married to her, unless she now leave her job and all of these all of these things. And when you know when in you know, working as such discipline in a, in a government, especially in an intelligence arena, you know, when she leaves, she have to sign all kind of document and say, Boy, you know, tell nobody this or that and whatever you know. You know, confidential information or depends on your level of security, um, security clearance. You, you know, you supply, you, you know, you make them know say, you know, reveal anything. Cause if them find out say, you reveal it, tip, you know, they might charge you, you know, you got to prison for at least five years. I just saw it go. So, things that you know that, you know, when you're in the intelligence arena, you cannot divulge information out there. So, she cannot, you know, you know, by law, you know, she can't, she could not, you can't marry to her. Couldn't matter to her. But 
you know, she had the kid and her all of them things for, for Philip, so I just saw it go. So, moving on. So, remember that we are told you that, you know, so. So, Paul will, yeah, Paul will say, you know, I will resist them mainly because I know nothing is illegal on my de devices. So, they were trying to extort him that, uh, my, you know, Angela Brown Burke and all of those people. Honestly, people, I will have to, I'm going to start the series with Angela Brown Burke them, and Dana Williams and up by East Kingston. After I finish up the, um, the the series with yeah with the former military intelligence officer, many people yeah we have received um several calls, text messages that them want to hear them want to hear the military intelligence officer again. They want to hear they yeah them say they want to hear him. They want to hear you again because they want to say boy, you're one of the most of all of the guests apart from um. You know, we guess with uh, um, the experts to tell about prison and them thing there. Eh? Yeah, them like how, you know, them say, boy, you've been brutally honest. Yeah, you're brutally honest. And you never want no bar to nobody and them thing there. Eh? Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, some look idiot. Uh, say, boy, yeah, man, he's another labor writer and them thing there. Eh? The man come from. It's like, anytime people speak the truth, them just labor, yeah, as labor, right? I just say it go and them thing there. Eh? So we used to that now. Say, you know, you speak the truth. Because the man speak the truth. Yeah, I said the man a labor right and them thing there. Yeah, and, and you know, I criticize him. Yeah, man, him do a good job, man. And we just hope, you know, you know, people are digest it and them thing there because all of these things that he have said, that's cause what he what he has said still doing you know, is very powerful, you know. Cause you cannot send people out there with certain skills and just leave, put them out there so they're gonna use it and you understand. And you're going to hear even the same thing what he's talking about. I can't play even a soldier. A, um, a soldier that was in South Clarendon, a marksman to you know, and him all this, all, yeah, he, he, we just digress, you know, he, he disrespect all Skendang, you know, yes, and a thing there, you know, what's his name, and them say all, him all, with all M16, I don't remember, I, I don't remember his name, the, the soldier with illegal M16 and 9 in a town of Mapen, you know, and police free for approach him, I don't know if that is true, no, some hey, people are Mapen, tell me. I don't remember him name right now and him thing because I have all of the in, all of the, the, the information and intelligence and him thing there. And it was um them say a Chucky Brown. A Chucky Brown lick him with him thing there because the man this um him this um Skendang. Yeah, uh, Skendang had done of all dance, you know. You notice Skendang Skendang never been arrested in a Jamaica. He never had no problem with the police down there, although it, although you know can say boy him, him it's alleged that he's involved in criminal activity. But there's no, you never hear him, the police have a call him in time of personal interest, like Danai Williams and all them. And them. The man, they are just different kind of Teflon Dan. You understand? And the man, they make Mandeville, you know, make Tech Quick in um, Beverly Hills, Cherry Garden, and make Mandeville the place. You understand? For retire, you retire. I want to cool this place and them thing. But see all the kind of boy, them, all the man, them out for mash it up. So. Moving on, so we're sorry for the digression. So you soon hear all of these things about um what happened at East Kingston because based on this now, you know, we just have to give you some of the some we'll we'll give you a, you know a series after it is finished. We are telling about the Angela Brown Burks and the not we. You're going to hear it for yourself and Danai Williams, Tony Brown, Jad Flash, Beanie Man, all of them things you're going to hear. You understand? So moving on. So Paul, well, you know, so yeah, so former cabinet minister, former cabinet member Philip Powell urges Jamaica to pay keen attention to their cyber security after his phone was cloned and his bank account hacked by scammers demanding fifty thousand dollars from him not to make his information public. So all of these things now you are wondering if his um so they say the the the, the bank account it's Angela Brownberg that the money is in and them seize the bank account in England and all of these things and it linked back to Angela Brown Burke and her husband pa um, Paul Burke so you know we know the police them are investigating a Jamaica the detective and them haven't arrested and charged her as yet them have all of the evidence in about them say I make the, them say I make certain so them tighten them tighten the case here tight that nothing can pull it you understand so we know by by later this evening or tomorrow she's supposed to be arrested and charged here. All of these all of these crimes. And then you go have the hitman. The hitman are charged. Just like the, the, the hitman in a beat his case. 
he might, he might, he's going to plead guilty because him, him, at least him alive prison, him still alive. Because him said, boy, him had come on him out. And then he's going to become a witness against her. Because they going to use all text messages and all of them things. And money transfer. And you understand? And then now, he's going to give evidence against. So two people now, you know, I get, him I get evidence against him. I get evidence against Negus. You understand? The man will shoot her for him. So I just saw it go. So a big case is. Why I, mean, I, I never see a case like this. So moving on. So, yeah, so Paul, well, you know, him, him confirm that, you know, that, um, that he found out his bank accounts has been hacked and a substantial amount of money withdrawn after he attempted to withdraw at a local financial institution. He said checks with other financial institutions where he holds accounts showed that attempts had been also made to hack them. Days, days later, he was contacted through a number he did not know with a male voice telling him that his phone had been cloned and that they had access to his email, pictures and personal and professional messages. Paulwell, I will res Paulwell said I will resist them mainly because I know nothing illegal on my divorce d devices. After that, I have been receiving threat that these person now have 20 years of my emails, WhatsApp and other things on my devices and that they intend to scandalize me for having sex with underage girl. I can, def I can say definitively that I have never had a relationship with anyone underage, Paul will tell the observer. He said that the caller threatened to make public the information including corresponding with his clients unless he deposited the 50,000 US to a Nigerian account that was provided. Again, my response is that all my legal work is above board, said Paulwell, an attorney. So you know, they might try to shake down the man big time. Well, if you try to shake down a man a lot, the man was a minister of government. Let me show you, you know. That's how criminals are emboldened in Jamaica. So the Indian come a cause all of these things, you know. But they thought that, yeah, Philip Powell and others, they thought that they were arming the police officers when they were doing it. But hey, different thing, you understand? So, moving on. So according to Powell, he contacted the local police while people in the United States, whom the extortion is threatened, that I see him, Leoda, Bradshaw, them threatened her, you understand? And reported the matter to the American law enforcement agency that I'm, you know, mean the FBI. And, you, you know, you have the FBI, lo, um, local police and then the state police. So three, three agencies that were involved in that investigation. Based on, you know, the threat. Because once somebody threaten you, if they across state line, yeah, that's a federal crime. And them still have to answer fit the state and local crime. So, I just saw it going and thinking, I saw Uncle Sam deal with things, you know. You know, just get one charge, you know, it's all the base and how, how, where and what and how the crime was committed. You understand? So I called the parlor, he contacted the local police while people in the United States, whom the extortionist threatened, reported the matter to the American law enforcement agencies. See, so I told you. So my phones have been, have been scrutinized and I am determined that these culprits must be brought to the book. I am now aware of who some of them are and the links that they might have to local people. We will be pursuing those matters and I intend to ensure that they are fully prosecuted, said Powell. The Member of Parliament for Kingston Eastern and Port Royal and the Opposition Sportman and Energy, he told the Observer that the international investigation traced the account which was, ha which was hacked to pay the money. To the United Kingdom and shut down the account with some six hundred thousand US already in it. So all, all the, the we call it the Integrity Commission. All them to ask Angela Brown about that because she's supposed to declare that money in the account in her, her and her husband's name. She's supposed to declare that, you know. You understand? Internal we call it Integrity Commission. Now we know it's the account is in their name allegedly based on information received and obtained. You understand? So him say, um, 
he told you know so Paul well he told the observer that the international investigation them traced the money you know and they told me that one payment to that account was for forty two thousand US from an account in Jamaica's added Palwell. He said he refused to pay and 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 on Sunday received reports from political and personal colleagues that they had been sent an email with images on his phone. Paul will say despite the threats, he has no intention of giving in to the demands from the extortionist, which is you know beautiful. You know, you know, cause once you do that, you open you open the Pandora box. We don't, we don't negotiate with terrorists. Yeah, if you want to kill you, you kill you, but we don't give nothing for not kill you. Cause we know so we can kill you. Cause you, uh, we have two and two foot, and we have a brain can think. You understand? So if you're innocent and we see you move a certain way, you don't give no chance. Spring to strike. You, you understand? Cause for you're not supposed to in our circle and intimate do it now. We have to sort it out and them things. You understand? So Paul will himself refuse. He refused to pay them. So Paul will say despite the threats, he has no intention of giving in to the demands from the extortionist. Not we need to resist these people. More and more of this will likely happen now and there has been a clampdown and scamming. More and more people are going into hacking as they believe that they can use this against people. Believe me, we need to resist that. And I will resist them, especially because I have nothing is illegal or on my devices, declare Powell. A high-level investigation is on way into the disappearance of the woman and her 10-month-old baby from the Mullines Road era of, King, of St. Andrew. The woman and her, baby, that, and her baby daughter were last seen at about 7.30 a.m. Saturday morning. That's before them load up in a Philip Powell SUV. Because she know the vehicle, you know. You understand? Yeah, she know the vehicle. So the woman and her daughter, they were last seen at 7.30, you know, the Saturday morning. So Paulwell says the two were seemingly abducted from their St. Andrew home. This is scary and come at a time when I have been threatened by scammers who have hacked my phone and banking data and are demanding money to release the data, said Paulwell. I have, I have clarified that I will not give in to extortionists, but this is a serious and dangerous development. It's alleged that the child's mother told friends she received a phone call from another woman earlier this week. That woman reportedly claimed the MP is also the father of her child. It is understood that the woman agreed to meet in Kingston 10 area to discuss their problems with the MP. Mr. Paul will say he has contacted the police regarding the missing child and her mother. I have given a full statement and I have also increased my security measures. I am worried about their safety and hope the police who have launched a high level investigation will find the abductors and get them home safely and sound, added Mr. Powell. So you see, so at the time when everything was happening, I you know, guess who was right there with him? I see, you understand? You know, see? Yeah, man, Leo they was right there with Philip Powell in the apartment uptown. You understand? And she planned and orchestrated the, the death of the baby and the mother. As this, because, you know, in Jamaica, you know, Jamaica is a criminal's paradise where people get away with murder. So she thought that she was going to get away. You understand? So that's why she hired another hitman now to kill the first hitman. And then that hitman now, him become the witness. And I saw him take the police them and, and show them the body. Because that's the only way to save him life. Because I know, you know. He you knows if he go back to work, he'll be a dead fool, you know. <laughs> you understand? I just saw it go in them places, you know. So he said, eh, why? I'm going to become a witness of them things, you know. So he might do the right thing. Not because he wanted to, but he was forced. To just to save him life. So he saw them say them love kill people, but them not want them. Why, you know, our deepest condolences to Philip Palwell and, you know, his friends and family. We know that um, losing a loved one is very hard, especially a child. I don't, I cannot emphasize that. Sympathize with you because I, we at the Jamaica Young Police and I have never experienced something like that. And we know right now that's supposed to be one of the worst time of your life. Because that's a baby, you know, nothing you can talk. And who don't love babies? Yeah, man, me love baby, man. Now we have someone not nice than you have a young baby. And you know, you understand. Even as a father, you sleep with the baby and all of these things. 
And you know, when you have children, you want all your children around you. But hey, I just one of them things. Eh? But Leona, why she's a wicked, wicked woman. And all along, then she released statement that she never involved and she's looking out for the child and the child's mother. And she knew that when she had released that statement that they were dead. So this woman had us playing evil. You can't play with evil, you know. There's no cure for evil. You understand? Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.